Hey, bitches, line the fuck up with everything that you have because all you have is a body. They talk just like you. There's nothing unique about you. If I if I talk to Black China, I've talked to Cardi B, I've talked to uh, Rene Rucci, I've talked to every hoe that's on Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? I've spoken to all of them. Just by talking to one motherfucker, you've talked to all of them. They have the same mindset, the same goals. All of them want to be a... Um, a makeup technician, a, a rapper, a hairstylist, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. A actor on Love and Hip Hop. Podcast. I'm Al Conseco, fearless leader of AO Nation and the Men Too Movement, and this is the long sleeve. Are you serious? Uh, t-shirts. Shirts are in. What is, long sleeve t-shirt? Can you say that? I think so. It's a long. They still make a t. Um, long. Right now we have the black long sleeves and shit like that. More colors to come. Um, as you know, the big face. All the t-shirts are fifteen dollars. All the headwear is $10. All the t-shirts are 15 except for the um, Men 2 uh, t-shirt, which is the red camouflage shirt. Um, that will be the uniform. I, right now, we're thinking that the uniform is going to be um, this shirt in khaki pants. I'm not sure yet, but we this is how we're going to signify who we are when the time comes. Uh, and, and like I said, you don't have to be a dude to be in the Men 2 movement. You know what I'm saying? When it's time for us to stand, we will stand unified. And that's how we're going to be. Um, and you already know at the end of this month, be on the lookout. And it is damn near the end of the month, so we're going to make this statement. Um, to get the shirt, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. You understand that? To donate, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. Extremely simple. Um, We've been having a couple mix-ups and shit like that. It's all love, but they're two different things. Um, been having some... When we do the AO Nation donation conversation every other Sunday, I read all donations from PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Anywhere that you've donated, if you send some shit to Western Union, I'm going to say it on the show. There is a cash app. There, any way that you can send money, we have it. So, look in the description box and you will see everything that you need to see. There's a hot link in the description box for everything that you can think of. Uh, the cash app is, you know what I'm saying? Very simple. Let's get down to what's going on. Black China just got in a domestic violence situation with Kid Boo. It's, I, I, it's not really surprising what what's the, the issue I have here is uh, reports say that she scratched him, he slammed her, and choked her. Nobody went to fucking jail. Paramedics come, police come, nobody went to jail. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I've been said that there, there's, you know what I'm saying, there's bias and there's, there's, uh, there's prejudice and there's you know what I'm saying? There, there's ways to get out of shit, whatever. If we get into a situation, if the boy, uh, the damn, the stupid boy, uh, Almighty J, would have got in a domestic violence situation with Black China, went to jail immediately. I, I, I'm just now finding out, just recently, that you can get a domestic violence charge for looking at a bitch menacing, menacingly. I don't know what the fuck that shit called, but you can get a domestic violence charge for looking at a bitch. If you look at it in a hostile way to where she's in, in, in fear, if she says she's in fear, she can call the police and you'll get hit for a real fucking charge and have to bond out. 
Once again, I'm speaking to you. But in this situation, who the fuck call? And you know, it goes into what I'm telling y'all. You gotta record everything and all this shit like this. But with no video, no nothing, ain't nobody go to jail. Police came. And nobody left with the police when they left. They left alone. It was in Hawaii. Maybe they got different rules or some shit like that. But that that, that shit is... Un, that, that, I'm just... I, I can't get past that part. This is what it say happened. Black China's Hawaiian holiday went to hell fast. After paramedics and cops showed up at her hotel because of a physical fight between China and her new boyfriend, TMZ has learned. We're told around 6 a.m., China and Kid Boo were in their hotel room at the Rich Carlton in Honolulu when they got into a heated argument. We're told China accused Kid Boo of cheating, and and just before 7 p 7 a.m. it turned violent. We're told China scratched Kid Boo, and our sources say he then slammed her against the wall several times and choked her. And that's from, I, I'm reading it off of, uh, obviously that came from TMZ, but I'm reading it off of Diamonds Live. Uh, somebody, I, uh, my man, uh, Pastor Controller, tagged me in, um, in the, uh, in Diamonds Live's, uh, post. Um, so, kind of confused here. I don't, I, I'm not seeing no, you know, no fucking, you know what I'm saying, headlines of Kid Boo arrested or no shit like this. And we let's 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 check for that right fast. Hey, I appreciate all the support I'm getting and shit like that, but I truly hate confusion. So I'm gonna kill it right here. February fifteenth, six p.m. Standard Central Time. I will be going live again, but not going live, but not just on IG. I'm going live on YouTube also. If you wanna go on a live with me, be on the screen with me, like y'all been asking. It's gonna be a fifty dollar charge, and I'll have ten slots. The order in which you get your slot is the order in which you'll come on the screen. Shut the fuck up! I expect for everybody who come on the screen to have the Are You Serious or Big Facts t-shirt on, representing AO Nation. Um, if you haven't got your shirt yet and shit like that, you already understand what's going on. All the shirts, except for the Men 2 movement, this is the Men 2 um, t-shirt. All the shirts are going for 15. All headwear is going for 10. Uh, if you want to be part of the Men 2 movement, this is the shirt that we're going to be wearing. You know what I'm saying? When we do our thing, whatever like that, these are going for 20 and shit. Also, also, at 5 o'clock on February 15th, I'm going to give out the number to this phone. You're going to be able to call in during the live. Like, and we're going to talk and shit like that. So we're going to have folks on the screen going live and folks calling in. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, the number's free and all that shit like that. From 5 o'clock to 5.50, the number will be on Instagram at 5.50. I'll take it down. At 6.05 will be the first call I take. We running. Let's do it. We can just shake it right here because I, I, I got this shit. No. No. They trying to lace the sky and shit like that. Nobody went to jail. I'm confused. As I said, it, it just as soon as it was, you know what I'm saying? And this is, like I said, you know, it's just to be understood and, and look at this shit. I can't really, I don't have any, you know what I'm saying? There is no surprise in me. This is textbook Black China. You know what I'm saying? Get with a nigga because a nigga see her exterior. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what all the, the, the curiosity about, see what all the fuss about. He see what it's about, and immediately, I'm out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm, I keep trying to explain to niggas. Niggas say, man, if I had Holly Berry, I would never cheat on him. If I had Paula Patton, Lauren London, you know what I'm saying? You keep saying these bitches and shit like that. If I had if I had that type, you know what I'm saying? I would never cheat on her. That nigga's stupid for cheating on her. Not understanding, no matter what you have, it's going to get old. You're gonna get used to it. It's gonna use. It's gonna lose its luster and its appeal. This is why people start doing swinging and shit like that to spice up their marriage and shit like that. It's gonna get old. It's the same sex. 
even if you slow and shit like that, after two years, you've done everything sexually that you can, which is why you have to have something more than just, you know what I'm saying, the way you fuck. Because even if, you know what I'm saying, you, you got the moves and shit like that as a bitch. That alone is not going to keep a nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get... And if the nigga is, you know what I'm saying, on that level anyway, if a nigga's not a faithful nigga, he, it, it doesn't matter no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not in him. You're not going to tame no nigga. And that's where a lot of females are fooling themselves, living in a false reality when you believe that Oh, I got good pussy. He ain't never going to... Then you get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of you hoes are getting embarrassed. Who just said that shit um, and got embarrassed? And she was so fucking... Uh, who was that? Um, Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. When you got good pussy, you ain't got to worry about a nigga and all this shit like this. Not understanding the, 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 the biology of a man. You know what I'm saying? Like... Not and not just a man, a man that is successful, that's own. You know what I'm saying? Like bad bitches line the fuck up with everything that you have because all you have is a body. They talk just like you. There's nothing unique about you. If I if I talk to Black China, I've talked to Cardi B, I've talked to uh, Rene Rucci, I've talked to every hoe that's on Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? I've spoken to all of them. Just by talking to one motherfucker, you've talked to all of them. They have the same mindset, the same goals. All of them want to be a um, a makeup technician, a, a rapper, a hairstylist. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. Uh, actor on Love and Hip Hop. Reality TV star. Want to go to a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Reality TV reunion. You met one, you met them all. And that's, Let's talk about that a little bit. Is a nigga really cheating? This seemed to have, have, have come up uh, recently too. A bitch said, I don't think it's cheating as long as the nigga is fucking with a hoe that's similar, the phenotype is similar to mine. Meaning the body and, and her characteristics, physical characteristics are similar to hers. So it's like, you were just trying to get to me, whatever, like that. You couldn't get to me at that moment. Crazy shit. Hoes have been trying to um, soften the blow of a nigga being... Um, they've been trying to counter infidelity and, and, and the, and the uh, effects, the emotional effects uh, uh, and, the, and the, the mental devastation that it has on them. Like, how do you, you know what I'm saying, justify this shit? How do you rationalize, you know, the, the nigga that you, you know what I'm saying, love with all your heart and everything that you are, committing the unforgivable sin? You know what I'm saying? The nigga just betrayed you and shit like that. And that's, and that's why I'm telling niggas, dog, it's not safe to play with these bitches. This shit, you have to understand this shit. This shit really fucking hurts them. You know what I'm saying? It really fucks them up when they find out that you cheat on them and shit like that. When they ask, not this black China shit. This, that's, this whole is, you know, that, that ain't shit. This whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, this whole is fucking with kids and actually she's not fucking with kids because this nigga Kid Boo is 34 years old. But, I'm talking about in your life. You know what I'm saying? If you know that this hoe loves you, like I got the video, I don't know if it came out yet. It probably it hasn't come out yet. I'm gonna put out a video about this girl that's beating this nigga up all through the parking lot. This nigga looked like he had the hairstyle like Kodak, look like Kodak on heroin and shit like that. But she just beating that nigga ass all through the parking lot. That bitch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I can say that she loved him because love also comes with respect. Uh, and that's no respect right there. That's no respect. I don't know how much you can love, but she probably do, though. She probably do. Um, that's how a bitch will react to you 
cheating on her. She's extremely hurt. She has to. You. She wants you to feel the pain that she feels. But I'm saying on a different level. Some of these hoes will kill you, dog. Just because you feel like, ah, man, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's all love and shit like that. Some of these hoes, it warps their fucking mind. That pain that they go through warps their mind. That shit is so painful. They keep on trying to, you know, um, stuff it down, stuff it down and, and um, subdue it. And, and just keep trying to pack that shit on top of, it, of itself. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Until they just come up with a plan to kill you and themselves. And it, and it can happen to a dude also. It, it goes both ways. But I, I, I'm speaking on this because... Black China is... Like any bitch around America in the hood, she goes from you know dope boy to dope boy and shit like that, hot boy to hot boy, but always gets the same result. And the fucked up part is, you're going through a domestic like, even with the nigga she was with Rob and shit like that, you're going through domestic violence situation with these motherfuckers, and just with us, we can like we really. Think fighting and love are, you know what I'm saying? They go with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they really go with each other. If you love them, then y'all gonna fight physically. Physically fight. Um, That's what happens when you're in love with someone. To see her fighting every dude that she with, whatever like that, it's like, are you really, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you really that fucking retarded? And I guess what they doing is they fucking up her chick. And that's why I'm throwed off. Like, how the fuck? Like, this ain't no love you got going on with these niggas. You trying to get money. You trying to get money. You trying to get paid. They're saying that um, when she was out this bitch, when she, like, let me finish that thought. You're trying to get paid. If he cheated, why the fuck when you just let that shit slide and continue trying to get this nigga? You know what I'm saying? You know, like, Ain't that what the fuck you do? Like, get pregnant by niggas and hit them with child support? That's your hustle. So why in the fuck, when you let that shit go right the fuck off, you know what I'm saying? Roll off your back and go to the money. But it said that she was supposed to be with uh, the child she has with uh, Rob Kardashian when she went out here. Like, she just skipped the fuck out. She just dipped and left the damn child with whoever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... That's a whole nother thing. But like I said, this ain't about, you know what I'm saying, Black China and shit like that. We understand that she's a nothing-ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the things that she does aside from her parenting. You know what I'm saying? Just bringing children into the world that you don't want. Just for financial gain. Like, fuck how good of a... Like, you did that shit for money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a nothing-ass bitch. Um, you're pushing a skin lightener. To people in Africa and shit like that, because you feel like the darker your skin, you feel like it's it's a it's a um, a, a ugly spot. You're a nothing ass bitch. You're not you're not helping us. You know what I'm saying? And that that's I, I think maybe that's the definition for a nothing ass bitch. A bitch that's not helping us. A nothing ass nigga helping us. You're not helping. You're harming us. Even better, you're harming us. And I just, like I said, it's just, it's a throw it off. I'm, I'm confused in the fact that nobody goes to jail. Maybe because whatever race Kid Boo is, that's what race the, the police officers were. Like, but I don't understand how, you know what I'm saying? A physical fight took place. Nobody goes to jail. Like, how in the fuck does that happen? I'm confused about that. But like I said, other than that, like, this shit is this regular shit, whatever like that. And they saying something about Alexis. I don't give a fuck about that. Alexis Sky. I don't give a fuck about that shit. What I think that we should take out of this shit is 
sweetheart, if all you have to offer is a body, like look, look, look what's going on. The reason why, and I'm gonna talk to you. The reason why Black China can't suck dick is because she hasn't had to. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she didn't want to suck dick. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, whatever like that, and she was finding them not to do it. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga didn't make her do it. Because I don't, I don't understand how you can be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand how that can happen. But I'm telling you niggas. I'm, I'm telling you bitches. If all you have is your body, you're going to be lost out this motherfucker. Because that shit's not forever. It's not going to be there forever. A nigga's not going to. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Right now, niggas will lie to you because they want something from you. Right now, they will. And as they're lying, I don't, I, I, that's a whole nother video. I, I got to do a whole nother video to, to explain that to you. We'll get to that later on. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, PayPal and shit like that. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Love.